I don't have to worry. I have God's property. I don't have to worry. Since I can pray, I don't have to worry. God is on my side. Before you sit down, how many? Before you sit down, how many of you believe that God is on your side? You believe that God is on your side. If you believe that God is on your side, hala amen. If you believe that God is on your side, shout hallelujah. If you believe that God is on your side, say praise the Lord. Before you sit down, two minutes time, you sit down. Look at me, child of God. We were born at different dates. We came into this world at different times. If Jesus started, we shall go one day. So that there is nobody here that will say, well, I'm above death. Nobody. Nobody. Is there any person here that is bigger than God here? If you are here, could you please come out here? Come and tell us, say you are bigger than God. I will give you a microphone. If you are bigger than God, appear. Raise up your hand and appear. Come out here and tell us you are bigger than God. Say, I am the Lord. I change it now. I prayed one day and I heard the voice of the Lord say, Joel, God has the final say. Who has the final say? Ask somebody who has the final say. Is it your father? Your mother? Your brother? Your sister? Jesus asked them, Will you also go back? You know, you don't know a Christian until you don't know a mature Christian. You don't know a believer until something happens. You don't know a devoted believer until something happens. It is when something happens, you know who is who. To go to church when something happened many years ago, some people ran away from church. Thank God for the Dickin Board of Ubawa Church. Thank God I salute their courage. The old members of Ubawa. go to Ubawa today. Some say no. That church, I'm like, no, 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 no. Jesus asked them, Will you also go away? Peter said, no. If we go, who will save us? You are the author of eternal life. You are the way. You are the truth. You are the life. Minus you, there is no life. Minus you, there is no joy. Minus you, there is no hate. Minus you, there is no peace. Minus you, there is no future. Please sit down. At the Assemblies of God Church in Mushi, where I got my salvation, in the days of late Reverend Asukwa Akadu, a Calabarian, he was my pastor then, he baptized me. Every day, every night, is all my prayers. We will pray, we will shout, we will agonize, we will groan in the presence of God. Until one deadly morning, the enemy struck. Some group of persons, I'm telling you what happened about 20 something years ago. Some group of persons entered into our comp church compound. They entered church compound. And when they entered church compound, what happened? Our pastor, our reverend, Asuko Akado of the Blessed Memory, a young, a young and a vibrant preacher in his time, on that Mushin section, Alakija branch, Mushin branch. This man has a head that some person jumped into the compound. They forced the door leading to the parsonage open. Then he got up. He was going toward the veranda to go and see what was happening. 
Then as he asked, who be that? Who is that? Some group of persons held him by the neck. Put gone in his mouth. And shot him to dead. After killing him, they did not take his money. They didn't take his car. They didn't take anything. They just dumped the lifeless body there. And God saw this thing. And he allowed it to happen. And every one of us started rolling on the ground. The Lord God of Elijah. Those people who killed him, I guess some of them may still be alive today. But I am not disturbed. Because one day, evil shall be visited. God will reward every wicked act of man. I guess my reverend by then should be up of the same age with me. By then. Or maybe he did not even reach my age. Because he was a young, vibrant preacher by then in Lagos. And those who did that evil act may be going around the road. Yes. <laughs> we don't send him. We don't waste his life. A day shall come. One day shall come. One day shall what? One day shall what? God will judge every wickedness in this world. Elijah, whom we are using as a case study this morning, look at chapter 18 of 1st King. Elijah conducted a powerful crusade, a powerful revival on the mountain of Carmel. I will not, am I not right? On the mountain of Carmel, there was war, power, and counter. It was the battle between God and the powers of Baal. The God that answered by fire shall be our God. Elijah said, yes, I agree. Let us not go into detail of that. But you knew what happened on the mountain of Carmel. The fire of God came down from heaven. Consumed every sacrifice that were placed before God on the altar. Lick up the water, consume the stones and iron and wood. Then, Elijah gave a command to his servants. All these prophets of Baal, slew them, kill them. Nobody should escape. After that wonderful revelation, in chapter 19. Hello, somebody. In chapter 19, Jezebel came, the wife of Ahab. In every generation, you have Jezebel. You have Ahab. Help me tell somebody, Jezebel cannot be a threat. Jezebel, when she came home, gave her husband food. The husband said, now won't eat uh -uh, what's the problem? Say, not be that man. That man of God who has been disturbing. He wouldn't hear. He is very stubborn and every hard, very hardened. He would not listen to the instruction of the king. I have no problem in my empire. Apart from Elijah. Uh, Jesse, but the wife asks, you mean Elijah? That's common right. Then it's, she sent messengers to Elijah. Go and tell Elijah. Eh, 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 I swear, eh. Tell Elijah, eh, I swear, I swear. Tell somebody you are in God's hand. He did not hear you. Help me push and small. Say you are in God's hand. Help me tell that person because you are in the house of God, you are saved. Tell that person because you are in the hands of God, you are secure. Because you are in the hands of God, you have a glorious tomorrow. Because you are in the hands of God, arrows of the enemy shall not enter your body. I demand a man to that war. When Elijah heard that 
that a woman was threatening him. Elijah has forgotten so soon the miracles of yesterday. But if you know that God has been so good to you, you will join me to sing this song as you stand up to your feet. When upon life billows you are tempted to shoot, when you are discouraged, taking all is lost. Count your many blessings and then one by one. And it will surprise you all the Lord As you remain standing, look here. If you were asked to come and stand here and testify of the goodness of God, your testimonies, I guess, will be up to three or four. If your own is up to three, raise up your hand. Your own is up to three, raise up your hand. No, don't say more than. Follow my instruction. If your own is up to three, raise up your hand. If your own is up to three, you know, past three, now three, end. Raise up your hand. But if your own, now five, you reach. Raise up your hand. But your own, you feel say your own, you can't count it. You can't count it. Ese no salome, oh my mammy ho. Ese no salome, oh my mammy ho. Ese no salome, oh my mammy ho. You see, when God performs something that is positive, man will say, Praise God, praise God. This God now, wow, this God too good. Oh. But the day the Lord allows something to try our faith, you will hear different noise. We start blaspheming the name of God. Unpardonable sin. We start using our mouth to talk heal of this God who can do without you and you cannot do without him. Everybody lift up your Bible and say, God, I will run this race to the end. Lift up your Bible and say, God, I will run this race to the end. I will see Jesus on the last day. I will not be a backslider. I shall remain firm. Serving my God. Because one day, I shall see Jesus. The Bible says, if it is only on earth here, we have a hope. Then what happened? We have become among all men miserable. You don't know a genuine believer until something happened. Please sit down. In our church, we will soon pray. Because I want some other persons to join me here today for prayers. In one of our church some years back, something happened. A pastor left the church, took away 98% of our members because of issue of transfer or personality clash between the pastor and the leadership of the section. left. Everybody said, we will follow him. We will die, follow him. We will die, follow him. No. 
No. Then Assemblies of God brought me 1994, all the way from Auchi to come to Bini. As soon as I heard I'm coming to artillery, I say yes, artillery, where so they stay. I will be seeing weapons to be using. I will have passed, I will have members who are military men. I will tell them to give me guns so that I could license it. In case any bad person come my way, I will I don't release to a toi. I never knew that artillery, my own understanding is not what is actually there until when I got there. When I got there, I saw few members, 11 of them. How many? 11. A church of 250 something highest. 11 members plus children, men and women plus children stayed. 240 something left and said, we are following that pastor. I picked my Bible, I'll be going on evangelism. I'll be going on visitation. Those that left, I start moving around them one by one. Brother, you're not conscious. Why now? He said, hey, stop that, Pastor. Stop that. Go find your own member. Go, don't, don't, don't follow our people. Leave our, our members alone. Leave our members alone. Don't, don't come and visit us again. I said, no problem. And we got to this one. This one said, hey, that church where there'll be five, five, five members. Mm, the real people are no more dead. The church don't fall. Now, bad, bad thing, they happen. I said, we shall see. If I carry oil on my head, or if there's no oil of God on my head, time shall prove it. Do you know one day we came to Benin one here for meeting in the former old building under the Moshak women? Before we close, as I, as, as, after closing, as I was going home, I met some people along the way. Say, Pastor, hey, Pastor, if you see what thing happened today for church, hey, Pastor. Waiting, he said, Come and see. They put sacrifice for church head of goat, red cloth, small pot, put down for altar. When pastor enter, he go fall down and die. No, when the time has not reached, he can't go. Even if you put to do inside church, he cannot harm a child of God, talk less of a pastor. I went to the church, I saw the juju, they put for altar. For pastor, for deacons, they're not go cash you. Amen. Now you sabio, you will like you say amen. You like me not talking, but they're not go cash you. Amen. I want to say something. That is what I'm trying to explain. Listen, those who left, when they hear say, "See you do inside church," <laughs> assemblies, assemblies, assemblies. I breathed out that juju. I destroy it. After two weeks, they carry another one. Go put that for the door, the door of the church. Some members say, "Oh God, we are not coming to church again." Madam, let's go. I say no. Oh God, I want to live long life. I know they go again. And you know, women, now they get church. When a woman say, "I'm no more coming," meaning our children will follow. Am I not right? I start moving around, talking. Say no. No. Then what was not going on? People, some people were given with bad messages. Who know how to castigate? Who know how to bring down the name? I mean, to make reproach and caricature the name of God. Start going around and say that church. Na killing church. That church, na killer church. That church, na bad church. That church, nothing good happened. And so on. They say watch. You will soon be hearing bad, bad news. I stood on the altar of God with my Bible in my hand. No, as fought, no more evil in this church. And the few members that were there echo amen. I was going for evangelism one day. After waiting for one month, two months, three months, four months, six months, nothing happened. No member died. One woman saw me one day greeting another person. He tapped the woman and said, you see this pastor? Anywhere when I see, I mean, I don't know. He, this man, I the fear him. Waiting the pool for there, make him finish him member. He not finish him member. He not finish himself. But so, do you know, those who want to leave, they left. Not up to three, two years, not up to a year and a half. Come and check the numerical strength of that church, 11 members. 
with the one of 250 something that left you the owner of that compound told me oh God, you say people live in this place it is a lie because the numbers of people i'm seeing here have numbered those people that left to form their own no evil shall touch you again as the head of this church by the authority god has given to me who's who, 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 who,